welcome to another vlog. So this is probably the ugliest you'll ever see me. <laughs> Just because I am so rushed, nervous. I don't even know. Um, so today I'm having my wisdom teeth taken out and I actually posted a question on Instagram like what did you guys think I was getting done? The hint was that I never said cosmetic. So I'm assuming everyone's gonna be like some type of plastic surgery. Like you're gonna get boobs done, you're gonna get your ass done or you know something like that, your lip filler, I don't know, something like that. But um, the hint is I just said what procedure. I didn't say cosmetic. So yeah, um, I'm currently picking up my dad because he needs to drive me back since I won't be able to drive home. I am getting all four wisdom teeth taken out. Um, I'm nervous, very nervous, honestly. I had four teeth taken out um, in order to make my spacers for my braces fit. So I, like, I have an idea what's gonna happen. And from what I know, they're not putting me under, they're just using local anesthesia. So I'm kind of nervous for that because I would have so preferred to be put under even if that meant I was closer to dying. I am so down. I'm nervous. Can you tell I'm fucking nervous? I'm fucking shitting bricks. So I'm really fucking nervous, but also like I don't want to get too ahead of myself just because of one, I've been through it and I know that they fucking numb you good. And two, like regardless, they're gonna do it. So I might as well just shut the fuck up and get it done. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I don't really know what this vlog's gonna be. I don't even know if it's gonna go up just because I don't really know what's gonna happen right now. Um, I'm really scared and I'm really sad because my friends and I had planned to go to the club on Friday and Saturday because um, President's, President's Weekend, we have it off, or I have it off at least. I don't know about them because they go, they're in another system. But um, yeah, so they have that. Um, so I'm really gonna be I'm gonna be really fucking sad if I swell up really bad if I don't swell up I'm so down to go like I thought that like not in pain, you know, but like if I feel good enough to go to the club I'm so down to go Um, but if I get really fucking swollen, then I obviously don't want to be out there like looking hella fucking trash So yeah, welcome to the vlog. Let's go see what this is like Wish me luck, send prayers, I'm scared. I mean, obviously if you guys are seeing this, it's because I didn't die. <laughs> if I um, clearly made it, I edited this vlog. If I do end up going to the club, you already know I'm gonna vlog that too. So stay tuned. Um, I'm so scared. I just, I wish I was getting like either put under or laughing gas or like some type of like crack or something like I just don't want to be in my five senses do you know what I mean like I want to be put under check me out I'm like I don't want to be there and oh I'm so nervous but yeah this is how I look I've looked at gained some weight on my face I'm kind of sad but besides the point this is how I look right now Let's see what I look like. I don't even know if I'm gonna get anything because like I said, I don't know how shit's about to go down. Anyways, wish me luck. My dad's taking forever because of course I'm irrelevant. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, yes, 
follow me on my vlog channel, I had a panic attack the second day. The night of the first night of Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh. I'm still a little numb. I don't really want to talk and be like hella extra because I don't know, like I just feel very numb still and like I just feel kind of sore. Um, I got prescribed a muxilla for infection, basically a narco. Um, so I got both of them prescribed. I went ahead and took them. I'm like maybe six hours post removal um i'm definitely feeling it and this shit has not kicked in um like i said like i just feel really sore and it's like getting stronger as time goes by um regarding swelling i can't really tell if like oh my god i'm really fucking crying now just i'm crying and i just i don't know the scoop on freaking airy season. Airy season's coming up actually. <laughs> um, so anytime that I feel like weak or defenseless or just like anything, like I get in this mood, I just start crying. I actually didn't mention it. I feel fine now. So I was talking to my dad, and he just told me like you're gonna be fine. Like you got this. Like you're gonna be good. And, um, I was just telling him, like, every, I feel like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Like, I feel like everything happens to me. Like, if you know, like, if you're close to me, obviously, and you know, like, my history with everything that I've been through in my whole freaking life, um, you know that, like, I've been through a few things. So... I don't know why, but I just like got in my feels and he was like, I told him like, oh, like, I just feel like everything happens to me. And he was like, you shouldn't look at it that way. And like, blah, blah, but I was um, texting someone and I don't know, I got all emotional all over again. So I just thought I would include this little part. Um, But yeah, cute little update. Be back. I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in the video, but it's actually been two weeks since I got the room since i got them removed um i just want to go on here and let you guys know how it was and how the procedure went and how i almost literally died of anxiety um so the procedure was pretty simple they literally injected me with like 20 or so injections of local anesthesia not even kidding not even kidding 20 um obviously it was painful but I, like i started crying because of anxiety like it wasn't anything more than that it didn't hurt like obviously it hurts but like it's doing more good than harm, if that makes sense. So my case was pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, my bottom ones were not out, so I did have to open up my gum with, you know, a scalpel or whatever they use. Um, so I did have to have my bottom ones open, my gums opened up and taken out. And those were probably the best. Like, I would honestly rather them cut my gum and take them out just because when it's like you have stitches so you have like a less chance in my opinion of getting a dry socket which is when this um like the healed stuff either comes out or it doesn't form at all because it's stitched so it's gonna form regardless i don't know um so that happened to my bottom ones my top ones were already out so i just went ahead and pulled them um it didn't hurt it was just a lot of pressure and honestly there's no way to explain it than pressure and you're not gonna understand it if you've never had them taken out but it's just pressure it's not pain so the pharmacy actually gave my dad a hard time getting my pills because they were norco and because i'm 18 and they gave him a hard time and by like 10 or 11 i was like losing my shit so that's how you guys saw i was crying that was why i was just so like over it like 
I was just frustrated, okay, because I was starting to feel it like it had been six hours or so since I had gotten them removed. So obviously anesthesia had worn off and my face hurt and I didn't have my pills. And then even when I got them, like it takes a while to kick, kick in. So I was hella losing my shit. Um, so that was that day. I only ended up, they get prescribed 20 Narcos to me and I only ended up taking two just because the pain is totally bearable. Like it hurts, but it's like just sore. It's not like you're going to die um and that was i guess i don't know like everyone was kind of freaking me out because the dentist and like the assistants even were telling me like make sure you take your pill like once you get home like it's gonna hurt really really bad and like it does hurt bad but it's not like i was frustrated like it hurt but it wasn't like anything out of the world like, you just feel really fucking sore and obviously like why am i gonna go through pain if i don't have to um so the worst part is honestly probably sleeping upright but you have to do it honestly because i slept lying down flat which they don't recommend the third or so day and the next morning i woke up with a bloody mouth so freaking sleep upright it's gonna suck and your quality of sleep is gonna be trash but it's so worth it it just i don't know it's something with your heart and like you don't bleed as much i don't know something like that that's what i'm i was like half there half I wasn't really there, you know what I mean? So I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but he was saying that, like, something with your heart and, like, if it's at the same level of your mouth and, like, I don't know, um, basically just don't lie flat when you sleep and sleep upright. I freaking slept sitting for, like, a good six or seven days and it sucked, but honestly, I'd rather do that than wake up with a fucking bloody mouth again. Um, my face, I will say, was super fucking sensitive. I couldn't put lotion because just because this whole, like, area hurt really freaking bad. Um, like to the touch like I couldn't rub lotion like it was the most weird sensation ever honestly because like it's just a weird like it hurts to another level like it hurts like someone dead ass like punched me in the face like a couple times um I did swell up not anything too drastic but I do want to credit a lot of that to the fact that I put ice as soon as I got home because I had plans to go out to the club that weekend which I actually didn't end up going but not because of my wisdom teeth, just because one, I was on medication, so I wasn't able to drink, I wasn't allowed to mix alcohol. And also, um, just like something happened and we weren't able to go, but I would have, so, like, I, I was so ready to go, you know what I mean? Um, but if it wasn't for the medication and what came up, we would have so gone. So I was like, I was good enough to go, even like look wise, like nothing looked wrong with me you can't eat i was literally sick of eating yogurt and fucking soup for like four or five days at like the fourth or so day i started crying like i was just so mad i was just like dude i just want to be able to eat normal food again like i'm so over eating fucking soup like i just want real food you know what i mean so like i said i lost my shit like four or five days later um no activity honestly okay so i got them removed wednesday and i went back to the gym on monday but you're so restricted as to what you can do especially since the dry socket is there like you don't want to you don't want it to fall out or for it to not formed or whatever the case may be like you don't want to damage your wounds so you have to restrict yourself to what you do like you don't want to do anything too strenuous at the gym and dude i fucking weight lift you know what i mean like it's hard to like restrict yourself in that way even with like 20 pounds like it just it doesn't feel the same as lifting even like 90 which is still pretty low um so i just ended up waiting another week so i gave myself like a week and a couple days i was still going to dance and you know like i flipped my hair a lot <laughs> um and i felt fine so i guess it kind of just varies and depends on like how much you want to get satisfied out of going to the gym because like i said i was able to go to the gym i didn't feel like i was bleeding and i didn't bleed while i was lifting or anything but um it just i could tell how much i was restricting myself that it didn't like satisfy me like i didn't feel like i was getting anything done because i was trying to keep my heart rate down i was trying to not lift too heavy i was trying not to jump i was trying not to do like stuff like that and that's like the endorphins you know the endorphins kick in like that so um stay away from activity it's so worth it in the end i did ice for like three days um bearable pain uh, my face was sore um my jaw was like i would say my jaw was swollen it wasn't really this way like it was here like i swelled up like here and my jaw was swollen um but yeah i think that's it um like i said it wasn't anything out of this world i feel like i cried a lot in this video and it's not because it's anything out of this world 
I'm just super dramatic and I'm super emotional and I cry about everything and everything. So yeah, um, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe. Do what you gotta do. Um, next vlog should be lit, so if I can stay tuned. And with that being said, I'll go ahead and see you on the next one.